Hello, I'm Jason Rushworth, and coming up on the program, groundbreaking innovation into powered wheelchairs designed by scientists at the University of Portsmouth have been shortlisted for two prestigious international engineering awards. The inventions have transformed the lives of thousands of wheelchair users, making powered wheelchair easier to drive and to steer. I went along to the university to find out more. Two men have been arrested following a report of a suspicious assault in a Portsmouth police were called in to a lake road at 3.30 a.m. on Friday morning after a man was found suffering from an injured neck. Several roads were closed for, house, for hours following the incident as officials and forensic teams gathered information. The two men aged 19 and 20 from Portsmouth have been arrested on suspicion of causing grievous bodily harm and are currently being held in police custody. A 38-year-old man is in Queen Alexander's Hospital with critical injuries. At this stage, the incident is suspected as being a drugs-related. Portsmouth has been named the most dangerous place to ride a bike outside of London. That's according to the new figures from the Department of Transport. Received an 888 cyclists were injured per 1 million of the population in 2015. The city was ranked the highest for the cycle casualties in four out of the past five years. Southampton was also 10th worst this year with 513 injuries. Meanwhile, cyclists on the Isle of Wight are set to be safer thanks to a new 360 degree cameras that are being fitted to waste collection lorries. The technology, the technology detects movement and warns the driver if something is next to the vehicle. The plans were put together by the Isle of Wight Council and the waste company Amy. They're confident it will improve overall road safety in the area. Police in Hampshire have released CCTV images following the attempted theft of cigarettes from a shop in Totten last month. Officers were called to the co-op store in Rumbridge Street in Totten during the early hours of September uh, the 1st. Entry was forced via the front window by two people armed with a sledgehammer. And after failing to gain entry into the cigarette cabinet, they used a pickaxe to break off three cash boxes from the tills. The tills were empty though, they fled later on motorbikes. Let us know your thoughts by emailing on news at thatsolent.com on Facebook or using Twitter handle at thatsolent. And you can also write to us. Our address is thatsolent, Highbury, Tudor Crescent, Portsmouth, PO6 2SA. They're floating through our seas in the most fascinating way and come in many different shapes and colors. Jellyfish have been around for millions of years and they're currently under the spotlight for research project at the University of Southampton. Scientists there have been using the umbrella-shaped animal to track down the location of other sea creatures and reveal where our seafood comes from. Nicole Reese has the details. <laughs> 